Hello friends, it's Ernestine. <clears throat> so, week four, <laughs> and I'm managing to keep doing this and keep recording uh, a daily dance video. I'm like astonished with myself. Um, it's It's been hard, but it's been awesome as well. Um, so let's get into it. How am I doing? Um, oh, jeez, fuck. Why did you have to ask? <laughs> um, yeah, there's been some news this week, so how I'm doing sort of dovetails with how Berlin is doing. Berlin is, um, Berlin is fucking stunning, first of all. We had an amazing, like, Easter sojourn into the countryside to wander around with, uh, uh, in the forest with bicycles and, um, with my housemates, and it was absolutely wonderful. So that was extraordinary. All the trees are flowering. The weeping willows that cascade over the canals are all completely green in that bright, fresh spring color that's just like fucking phenomenal. So the city has exploded and I've discovered that Berliners are a lot like cats in the sense that once things become very beautiful outside, they have a great deal of difficulty staying indoors. Um, so perhaps not the great greatest thing for the social distancing attempt. Um, our cases had been on the decline and there were a few days where they the, the number of new cases increased. And um, this was in the aftermath of an announcement by the German government that Whereas we thought the government or things might start to reopen um, around April 20th, that date has now been moved back to May 5th. So, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, I was chatting with a bartender and we were like, yeah, yeah, so we're in the class of people who are like, other than like, uh, people who perform to giant arenas of enormous crowds, sort of the last at the bottom of the bucket to be like let back out into society. So this has prompted a lot of like creativity and thought and um, especially, I mean, one of the reasons the past week or two has been so hard is because there's been some actual police involvement with um, escorts who continue to work so there have been several reports of um, women who have continued to see clients being um, found by police officers in their homes. And on one occasion, at least that we know of, two police officers posed as clients in an actual sting. This is Germany, folks. So really super bad news for yours truly because I came here in the headspace of 12,000 pound backpack has just been taken off my shoulders of criminalization of my job. Um, so even after the recriminalization of, of sex work in Berlin because of the pandemic, I continued to see a few clients, got screamed at by my best friend, see earlier week's videos to see my dismay about that. Um, and yes, as much as I realize that it's a problem to be having close physical proximity with people um, at the moment and working is illegal and working is probably a bad idea for us collectively in this effort to uh, staunch the, the spread of corona. Um, for me personally, it's an absolute economic necessity. And um, then, uh, so since then, the, um, the demand for... Um, <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Lena Neal on, you know who you are. Um, <laughs> go look up her name, she's the devil incarnate, Lena Neal on. Um, the demand has been completely quelled by uh, fear of corona. So I was actually lectured extensively by a client um, over email about how irresponsible it was that I was continuing to see clients. And when I tried to explain to him that, um, can you please acknowledge the privilege that you have of your job security, the fact that you're a white man, and the fact that you're a citizen of this country, and the fact that I have none of those things, and that's the reason I'm continuing to work, maybe factor that in when you write me an email telling me that I'm a selfish uh, cunt for continuing to work. Um, he, um, responded, I don't think he understands English very much, so I, I translated it for him and it still didn't get through. I'm really frustrated when I can't get through to people about just how much whores are fucked by this current environment. Um, we're not doing okay. 
or just not doing okay. The only reason I'm doing okay is because I live with a bunch of fucking fantastic humans. And I just put out a blog post about them on Patreon, so go read that. Um, <laughs> about how they are absolutely wonderful and simultaneously I think they find me really confusing. Um, especially this dance thing. And it, there was just a really funny episode where I was bringing up a bunch of kindling for my cute little wood stove over there. Um, and my housemate assumed that it was going to be used as a prop for my ma my next dance extravaganza because she's seen me carrying ladders back and forth and all this shit. So it's a really funny blog post. Go find it. Um, anyway, <laughs> so, uh, I had another realization, which is, so the Wi-Fi here is awful. I knew this is a stupid amount of detail, but bear with me. Um, the Wi-Fi here is awful because the walls are a meter and a half thick. They're like two feet thick. So I cannot do video sex in my bedroom. That's not something I can offer. I have come to the conclusion after multiple Skype calls and Zooms where I just, the person is so grainy. I'm like trying to have a uh, video sex with this level of graininess and like delay of, of uh, what you say between what you say and, and when your lips are moving. It's just, oh my God, what a shit show. But I can record videos like this and then very slowly over a period of about half an hour upload them to the internet. So I am going to start making sexy video content, um, which has just got my wheels turning in my brain about um, what sorts of things I can offer. And I found there's like a psychological block there. And I'm like, hmm, what's that about? What is this psychological? block about making like sexy content for example like me masturbating uh making that video and then posting it um as something that people can purchase and i've realized that um well one part of what i love about being a sex worker is the communion like the person to person contact so whoever i'm with just feeling their energy and having this like weird sixth sense that I was born with about knowing what people need and being able to provide them with that, which to me is kind of the most rewarding thing in the world and why I find my job so fucking wonderful. Um, so the loss of that um, back and forth, this one directional, I'm talking at the camera <laughs> like I am right now, except with my vagina. Like, it's just like, oh man, like you don't get to see how much the person is enjoying themselves and they're really good off on that. So, um, that fucking sucks. And then I realized that the times when sex work gets scary for me are the times when you feel like you lose control of the situation and what's going on. So a client starts behaving in a way where the few times I've just I would describe my experience as a sex worker as rape or when I have lost control of what's going on in the room and what's going on in the situation and I feel like I'm being pressured to do something that that person wants me to do that I don't want to do because of fear of reprisal either physically or financially or in some other way so um so Imagine, you know, once you put sexual content out on the internet, there is no way to get that back. There's no way to know who's seen it. There's no way to control um, your audience. Um, so anyway, long story short, I'm going to do it anyway, but <clears throat> that was something that I was working through this week. Um, I don't I don't really want to do cam work. I don't really want that to be my career, but um, I am acknowledging that I need to change with the times and whores have historically been incredibly good at adapting to whatever the fucked up circumstances are. So that's my project for the week. Um, and my first, and uh, but also like I'm doing it in a fucking Ernestini way. Like I'm going to do it in an artistic way that involves point shoes and involves a lot of fetishy things like um, stockings and whatever, but like I'm going to do it in a fucking beautiful, artistic, amazing way. There may be like literature involved. It's going to be like lofty and high-minded and beautiful. And then also just making use of all of like this, you know, that people seem to like. So we'll see how that goes. I would like to make some fucking money. It would be amazing to not just be living off of um, the kindness of strangers. Um, but, and oh, Jesus Christ, applying for all this bullshit. And Trump, fuck you, where's my fucking money for you? Um, I thought I was done with that jackass, but now he's like keeping my, my, um, my stimulus payment and I'm very, very pissed about it. I'm very, very pissed.
Um, okay, so and then the, getting the German um, social aid is just like, okay, you filled out 20 forms. Here are 13 forms for each of the 20 forms you filled out that have to bear on this subject matter and why we, what we need to know about you. Like, what was your favorite color as a child? It's, the bureaucracy is like fucking ridiculous, as you would expect. Like, so the money's there. Just the barrier to entry of getting the money to live off this is like, Oh my god, spend 20 days in a row filling out forms with bureaucratic German in it, which is like not at my level yet. Okay, friends, <laughs> this has been very challenging. It's been sucking the oxygen out of my soul. So today I'm going to dance and put the oxygen back into my soul because for fuck's sake, this bureaucracy is awful and it's absolutely necessary. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I have to fill out five forms just to get my fucking tax number and it's just a clusterfuck nightmare and I won't bore you with it. Anyway, so um, today I am going to mess around. You've seen some some stuff, stuff back there. I'm, I'm thoroughly running out of new costumes, for which I apologize. Although I have been told that the rest of my worldly belongings are quite close to the port of Rotterdam. They're coming by boat. So it's thoroughly possible that in the next couple of weeks I could finally have way more interesting costumes to do this project with. Fabulous! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Way more sexy lingerie for y'all! Yay! Yay! I'm so excited! I can't even tell you. It's really, really exciting to have my shit after being here for three months. Um, so, however, today the patron-only video that will also be going up on my OnlyFans page, which is my big announcement, I'm starting an OnlyFans page, um, is, uh, how you go from this, well, the light is just horrible, but, so, these shoes are done, they're dead, the Y is this, that doesn't hold a lot of women. Um, it, you'd ha I mean, I would have to be really fucking strong to be able to deal with like this amount of floppiness. So I have to take this, these beautiful things, and um, actually find this far more aesthetically pleasing than this. <laughs> but the next patron who becomes a captain, for which the perk is a pair of point shoes, along with a lot of other things, will get these in the mail. So sign up and go become a captain on Patreon and you will get, you will receive this pair of shoes, which has been all over the world and up and down ladders and done such cool shit. Like amazing. Who wouldn't want this? Amazing. Okay. But I have to say goodbye to these lovely shoes. Um, I might, there might even be lipstick on them when you get them from me kissing them. And then, so these... That was really loud, you know, so hard. Can't, can't bend it at all. It's completely fucking pristine. So the ribbons have to get sewn on. These are Grishko Russian point shoes. I've been using these for forever. Um, they're just the type that work for my feet for some reason. Um, and a patron asks how I break in the box of the shoe, which is this part. Um, uh, as opposed to the uh, shank of the shoe, which is this part. So I will be spending some time sewing on video and I will be showing you that um, if you are either a patron or an OnlyFans subscriber. So <laughs> link below and um, check that out. And goodness gracious, anything else that I wanted to talk about? Um, yeah, so I'm I'm going to be combining. I'm I want to keep Patreon clean, so it's really interesting to see where these um, where the content will overlap between my new um, online like sexy content and my new online dancer content. Um, yeah, so that's my experiment this week, and that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing. It's making this clip store of video clips, doing me, doing all sorts of like juicy and delightful things. So if you're interested in watching me dance and bear my soul to the world, um, continue to watch the YouTube videos. I have been getting so many people watching these videos, new people subscribing, which is really helpful and really fabulous. Thank you so so much, and commenting and shit, which I absolutely fucking love. And then. Um, also now, like, new sexy content, too. So that's uh, the next phase of Ernestine. So stay tuned. Stay sane. Stay indoors. Um, unless it's safe enough to go out and you can have some distance and then also get some sunshine because... 
god damn it, it is fucking beautiful. It has been beautiful every day for like three weeks. It hasn't rained here in forever, which I didn't think was a Berlin thing. I thought it was like gray and misty all the time. Uh, slightly even disappointed. <laughs> Where's the rain being a California girl? I'm like, what if everything burns down? Can it rain, please? Anyway, all right, that's it for me. Super long chat. These chats get longer and longer as I like have fewer and fewer people to like disgorge my... Uh, my latent feelings on too. So ciao for now. Uh, all my love to you all. Sending you strength, sending you um, all good things. Alles Liebe, as we say here. And um, tschüss until next week.